Hi, Gareth Kentish here. And having heard so much bad press about eBay, it's inspired me to create this short video. And it seems that there are plenty of characters out there that are hell-bent on criticizing this wonderful tool. Well, I say, don't write eBay off just yet. Seriously, check out the facts first and think like a business person. And we can start by looking at the share price and how eBay's performed over the last five years. And it's interesting to see that the share price has moved from $23 to $53. And the market capitalization is in excess of $66 billion. Now, let's look at the figures in the UK. Sales in excess of £175 billion. Pounds. And what's really interesting is over a third of eBay sales are now made via mobile. And last year alone, eBay made in excess of $16 billion. So far, so good. Now, here are some more facts. In the UK alone, 19 million Brits visited eBay each month. And globally, that number is in excess of 65 million people. Now, take a step back and think about these two facts alone. Imagine if your own online shop could attract this much traffic. And this is good reason why in the UK, 200 plus companies now use eBay as part of their omni-channel strategy. And it's the reason why 75% now of sales are buy it nows. Now there are plenty more reasons to justify the benefits of using eBay. And you can find them out just by checking out Google or Wikipedia. The point that I really want to get across in this video is this. eBay is just as good as a marketing engine as it is selling your products. And once you get this particular point, this should be a eureka moment. So let's have a look at some of the tools on offer in eBay as they tie in very neatly with the Cassini search engine, which is all about helping the buyer spend his or her money on the most attractive products for sale. So first, let's have a look at the Markdown Manager. And this is a great tool to promote your products, like in a sale that can stretch between one and 14 days and can be scheduled. And an email can then go off to the people that have signed up to your subscription list within your shop. And another great tool is the cross promotional tool. And I particularly like this diagram because it depicts three of the listings supporting the main listing through a cross linking exercise. And there are other features within eBay which you can use such as the favorite seller top picks and the promotion of similar items. Now all these tools are available under the Manage My Shop facility and it's a great place to start to build up your profile and promote products within eBay. But remember what I said earlier in this video, eBay is just as good as a marketing engine as it is selling your products. And here we can go to task because one of the wonderful things that eBay allows you to do is to retain the email address of every customer that buys through your eBay account or shop. And that then of course allows you then to link into an autoresponder and with every sale made through PayPal, this can be an automated process. This is a real benefit for your online business in general. Knowing that the About Me page is gone, you can still create an equivalent About Me page on your own server so that you can then invite your customers to sign up to your newsletter and add their email address accordingly. Not a bad tool at all. And of course, with eBay in the item description, you can use HTML to make your listings stand out. So the result, you can become an eBay superhero as long as you think smart. And this allows you then to build up your subscriber list. And this inevitably allows you to create multiple revenue streams over and above your eBay business. And this, of course, allows you to well, have less dependency on eBay, creating those multiple revenue streams. I hope this has been helpful. My name's Gareth Kentish, and thanks again for watching.